Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. It looks like Microsoft is working on its own version of the Chrome tab groups feature found in the Google Chrome web browser, and they are calling it Edge Workspaces. Now, it's very similar to Chrome tab groups, where you have the option to create a workspace, and then you can put your different tabs into that relevant workspace. Now, if we just pop over to Google Chrome first, as many of you know, in Chrome, if you are browsing with a lot of tabs open, you have the option to create a tab group. You can call it what you want. You can give it a color. And as an example, if you are browsing, you can put tabs with the same topic of interest into different groups. And it just makes your whole browsing experience a lot more user friendly and your navigation through your tabs a lot simpler and quicker. Now, it looks like Microsoft has caught on to this. And if we go and open Microsoft Edge Canary, which is a pre-release unstable version of the Edge browser used for testing and experimenting, there is now a new feature called Edge Workspaces in the Edge Canary browser. And if we go to the top left, right next to the vertical tabs icon, we now have a little box icon where we can now switch our different workspaces. And if we click on it, here we have our new Edge Workspaces the little feature. And you can see that I have created uh, three workspaces. And just as a very simple practical example for this video, I've called them Workspace 1, 2, and 3. And just like the Chrome tab groups, you can give them different colors. You can call it what you want. And you do this by just clicking on the little edit um, icon. And you can do that in the name field. And you can give it a color. Now, if I click on my workspace one, I have got my one tab saved in there. And as an example, in workspace two, I've got two tabs and workspace three, you get the picture just to show you a very simple way of how you can have different tabs in the different workspaces. And then if I go and I say on workspace three, I then X out of one tab it will save that preference. So if I just go to another workspace and I go back to three, you can see it has saved my preference. Now, if we just go down to the uh, task bar, to the task view button, it is very similar to the virtual desktop uh, found in Windows 10, where you can add a desktop, you can delete a desktop, and you can add your different applications to those desktops. Now, if we just go back into Edge Canary um, and I'll go back to my tab groups, you can also see that my new tab pages have been saved as well and I have my different workspaces. Now, what I like about this is if I close out my different workspaces, which basically act like virtual desktops in the Edge uh, browser itself, and I close and I close um, Edge completely and I reopen Edge. It has saved my workspaces and my preferences, which I think is a great step forward. And I think this is going to be a handy little feature in the Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, it is not available as yet in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. It is only available at present in Microsoft Edge Canary. Now, Two little negatives I found um, with the new workspaces feature, but um, you know it's it's um, it's early days still, so obviously this is still going to be worked on. Is that your wallpaper for your different backgrounds for your um, different workspaces cannot be changed yet? It stays the same as your new tab wallpaper, so you can't change your wallpaper in your different workspaces. And the other one is that um, it might make this a little bit unpopular with certain users because obviously when you are running workspaces which basically act like virtual desktops, you will be using a little bit more resources um, in your Windows 10 operating system, which could be a negative on the performance side of your um, uh, Windows 10 operating system, especially if you are running an older machine. But I'm sure it's early days and I'm sure this feature is still going to be worked on a lot now, if you were like me, on the initial rollout of the workspaces, I did not see it in my Microsoft Edge Canary, and I waited for around for 
a few days and I wanted to make a video on it and I couldn't find the workspaces feature. It was not there. So what you can do, and this has just been uh, uh, brought about recently, what you can do is if you go to a shortcut of your Microsoft Edge Canary, if you don't see it in your Edge browser, and if you have a desktop icon, you can do it there. But if you just go to a Edge uh, shortcut, and in this case, I'm just going to right-click, go to More, Open File Location, and you right-click on that shortcut, and you go to Properties. I'm going to drag that over so we can see what we're doing. And yeah, in the Target field, you keep things exactly as they are. So you don't change anything in the Target field. You just go right to the end, and then you will see in the target field, if you right-click on the uh, your Microsoft Edge Canary shortcut icon, where it says msedge.exe, and then you've got your little apostrophes, what you do is you leave a space, and then you type in dash dash enable dash features equals ms workspaces and that is workspaces with a capital w i will leave this text in the description box below so if you haven't got the workspaces in your edge canary you can just copy and paste it in and follow the same process so that's after the last um uh, apostrophe you leave a space dash dash enable dash features equals ms workspaces with a capital W and that will enable the Microsoft um, the new Edge workspaces feature in Microsoft Edge Canary. As I say, this is not available in the stable version of Microsoft Edge as yet, only available in the uh, test and experimenting build of Edge Canary. And I'm sure that it will make its way down to the stable release channel in the not too distant future because I think this is a very handy feature for the Edge browser. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.